Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. We're back to a new week. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed the iRacing virtual race at Richmond Raceway. It was a heck of a good time to watch uh, on TV. Uh, so we're going to have William Byron, who went back to back, winning at Bristol, and then we had a nice little week off, and then he came back and got it done at Richmond. So he's going to join us here in a bit and answer some questions. Um, so continue to send those in because I know we had him on two weeks ago um, and kind of touched on the basis of general questions. Um, so send in and we'll try and get some more fan questions going. Uh, William, when you get in here, you may have to request me because there's so many people. Um, thanks guys for tuning in. It's been Really fun watching all these iRacing events. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, comment on here where you're watching from. Um, I am currently in Charlotte, North Carolina in my living room, as I'm sure many of you are hanging out in your living rooms, in your bedrooms, in your kitchens. Um, so comment on where you're watching. Let's see if I can add him in here. All right, I see you. We're waiting for William to get in here now. Oh, upstate New York, stay safe. Hey, Willie B, how are you? Hello, how's it going? <laughs> we're just gonna start making this a regular Monday thing because apparently yeah. we're gonna win on Sundays and we'll just talk on Instagram Live. I like that, I like that plan. Yeah, um, so you went back to back, which now your name is associated with back to back Byron, which is not a bad title. That's a good one, I, I like yeah. that. Is that a new nickname? I'm yeah, it's all over NASCAR.com. So I think now instead of like Slick Bill and Willie B and all the other ones, you need to just have people refer to you as back to back. <laughs> I like that. I'll go with that now. Okay, good. So I want to talk about Richmond uh, first and foremost before we're going to get a little more fan questions going than we did last time. But let's talk about the finish. I know that it was kind of deja vu a little bit with Timmy Hill in your rearview mirror. What was going through your head? Yeah, we've... Uh... Yeah, we formed a little bit of a rivalry, I guess you could say, <laughs> over the last couple of weeks with this whole virtual racing that we're doing. But uh, no, it's um, it's good. I mean, it was uh, Richmond was all about just you know we knew it was going to be tough to you know honestly qualifying. I don't know really where where we went wrong, but it, you know we didn't qualify as well as I wanted to. But um, we Ryan Priest was really good at the beginning of the race, so we just had to kind of work our way around him after a few laps and the the runs were longer than bristol so i thought it was a little bit cleaner race there so kind of able to get the longer runs and um was definitely really nervous that we didn't have the tires there at the end to to really hold them off i was i mean my tires were like really worn so i don't really know how it worked out but luckily we we held them off i know one of the storylines on the broadcast and mike joy was actually really surprised by it that you didn't take tires so you had a lot yeah. less fresher tires than some of the guys behind you which the restart seemed to work out for you pretty well. Yeah, I actually spun the tires just a little bit. Um, but Timmy was, uh, he was close oh, well. enough into turn one. I was like, I started tensing up and I like holding the brake really hard, hoping that he didn't get to me. But um, yeah, he was like, he was really close. I think he got to like, maybe, maybe like a couple inches off the bumper. But um, I think he was going to race me clean. You know, I, I, I knew I was, I was actually, I don't know. I was hoping kind of that he would do it early enough where I could get him back. And uh, it looked like that's how it was going to work out. But then when it came to the last lap, I'm like, well, darn, I'm kind of screwed here if he does hit me or, any, or anything like that. So uh, luckily it worked out. One of my favorite parts of the broadcast yesterday was the excitement you had after you won. <laughs> because for fans that don't know, you guys are super competitive, even outside of a real race car. So it was, yeah. a, it was a big win for you to go back to back. So I want to talk about the excitement that you had at the end. And for fans that don't really get how competitive you guys are, why was that so exciting? Yeah, it just, um, you know, race car drivers are a little bit different breed. Um, <laughs> I'm sure other athletes would be the same way, but we're not used to winning every every week. So anytime there's a competition, it's like uh, it's like going to uh, play ping pong with your best buddy. You know, it's it, it doesn't matter whether it's ping pong or iRacing or NASCAR. I mean, it, it's a race, so you're going to try to win. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's it's funny. That's really what I've told people about this whole iRacing thing is that, you know, I used to do this for fun, and I used to do it just, just to try to learn a few things here and there. Um, now it's taken on a different meaning. You know, now there's pressure for even myself 
to race on there and do well. So um, much different, you know, aspect of racing when it, when you put pressure involved and you put, um, you know, you have real sponsors and, and things like that engaged. So I, I was nervous for this race, just like it was any other race. Uh, it definitely takes on its own meaning. Well, another thing that was common between uh, not just Victory Lane and who won the race, but you also had a really cool Exalta paint scheme. Uh, mm. you, we talked about it on the Bristol uh, post-race show that we did here on Instagram. But you, fans actually got to pick this one. Yeah, yeah, the fans got to pick uh, this paint scheme. I think it was Russell who designed it. Um, you know, it looked really cool. I mean, I, I kind of got the last say, I guess. And I, they told me, pick my top five. So I, so I listed my top five and I made sure to send the gold one first and, and really delay the other ones. And they were like, well, do you have other ones you like? I'm like, eh, not really this one. <laughs> yeah, we should definitely go, go with this, this one. one. <laughs> so, um, it, it looked really cool. I mean, I made a couple, you know, I think we made a couple of little modifications, but, um, yeah, it looked really cool. I, I think the gold just struck me as like one of my favorite cars growing up was uh Kurt Busch in the all-star mm -hmm. race, 2007, um, which is a good race if you guys decide to to put it on uh, YouTube. I'll watch it. But uh, that I'll was tell a, my a higher cool, bees. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a cool uh, a cool race. Uh, I think Kurt Busch and, and his brother Kyle got into it, and that's when uh, Kurt made the famous comment of of they weren't going to have any uh, any uh, lunches or dinners or something together soon. So it was anyways. It was a gold car that Kurt ran. It was really an awesome scheme. It looked really cool. Um, somebody on here is asking about Talladega coming up this weekend. We know the real Talladega is crazy. Uh, so can we expect that? Because you probably ran the most laps um, coming up at Talladega mm -hmm. on iRacing. So what can we expect from that race on Sunday? Yeah, so it's a it's a funny saying on, I, on iRacing when they have any of the super speedway races. You, you usually lose a lot of uh, rating in that week that they have oh, the great. races there. So <laughs> I'm prepared to crash if that's uh, what happens. Um, I know it'll hurt a lot less than hitting the wall in real life. So I'm, I'm excited about, I guess, excited about that part of it. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm just uh, looking forward to it. It's going to be probably one of the coolest races we've done so far on the iRacing uh, platform, because I feel like everyone's going to naturally have fun with it. Um, you know, we have fun with the normal races, but anytime it's Richmond or some of those places, you there's a lot of technique involved. Um, Talladega is more just bravery and, and who wants to try to go for the winning move so it should be fun it might not be um as intimidating for guys to make these moves when they're not actually in a race car and having to deal with you in person so i'm sure it's going to get a little yeah. crazy um but as far as richmond to talladega we saw that there wasn't any restarts for richmond which are resets i mm -hmm. assume that that's going to be different for talladega because mm -hmm. i don't know how many times guys are going to crash and have to use those resets do you think yeah. that that kind of changed the dynamic of yesterday's race at Richmond when guys didn't have a reset that they were kind of being a little more cautious. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think the, the reset deal was uh, a good, I guess, uh, adjustment from the week before. I mean, or two weeks before we had two resets at Bristol and it, it was kind of a, kind of a mess. Everyone was running <laughs> over each other. Um, we had a lot of mad drivers, uh, this week, I think that we had still some mad drivers, but at least, at least those guys were, uh, I guess less, there were less of them. So that was good. Um, you know, I think honestly the race played out how it should have, uh, you know, guys raced like they should or like they would in real life, I guess you could say, uh, which is what we're looking for is realism. So, um, you know, it, it definitely, uh, didn't promote as much crashing, which I was glad that, uh, that wasn't the case, but I definitely going into the race, I was a little worried that not having a reset, I was like, man, if I, hit the wall or something it's going to be uh, a detriment yeah just tiptoe around richmond for the first like 100 laps um was, this is yeah. actually a really a really good question somebody asked on here about we see a lot of the pack racing and the draft racing at talladega and teammates and manufacturers working together can we expect that on i racing like we do in the real talladega uh i'm gonna i'm gonna venture on a limb and say no because i think a lot of us are <laughs> are just not that good to be able to <laughs> just coordinate that perfectly um you know i think we're all going to be in a pack about three wide and i think it's going to take one guy uh one guy's internet to uh glitch a little bit yep. to uh cause a big wreck maybe i don't know hopefully, yeah, I hopefully not that, yeah i can't wait for that pre-race chevy meeting that you guys will have to talk oh, about yeah. your plan <laughs> yeah there's gonna be lots of those now it'll be uh 
No, it'll be fun. Hopefully, hopefully we can put a uh, Chevy in victory lane there. I think it's. I think we've won the last. Well, I guess the last two. So hopefully we can do three for three for somebody. Um, and then last question before I let you go: um, Are you ready for real racing? Yes, I'm ready. I uh, I know I'm a big i racing advocate, but uh, you know I want to go back to doing i racing for fun, and I want to do my real racing for my career. <laughs> that would be nice. Yeah. So um, I'm excited. You know, I honestly it's just. This iRacing has given me uh, a chance to, you know, have fun, but also gain some confidence and, and just uh, be excited about getting back in the real car. And I honestly, I, I think that we can realistically win uh, when we go back as 24 teams. So I'm just looking forward to that. And hopefully, hopefully that's sooner rather than later. Yeah, I agree. I was talking to people the other day and I said, it's hard to believe that in the middle of April, I'm missing a racetrack. Because normally now, you know, we're not sleeping a whole lot. We're traveling all over the mm -hmm. country. We're on different yeah. time zones, West Coast, East Coast, but I'm ready to get back. Yeah, yeah, it'll be fun to fun to go back for sure. I think I think hopefully it's soon, like I said, and um, just excited to smell race car fuel, engines, tires. Uh, that's all of the things that that we love. So uh, I'm excited for that. All right, William. Well, thank you for joining me again. Uh, mm -hmm. I may see you next Monday, friend. We'll just make this a tradition if you can win at Talladega. That sounds good. That'd be <laughs> awesome. All right, good to see you. Bye, guys. Thank you. Stay safe. See ya.